Romine chapter 15. But we who are strong ought to bear with the failings of the weak and not to please ourselves. Let each one of us please his neighbor for his good to build him up. For even the Messiah did not please himself, but as it has been written, the reproaches of those who reproached you fell upon me. For whoever was written before was written for our instruction, that through endurance and encouragement of the scriptures, we might have the expectation. And the Elohim of endurance and encouragement give you to be of the same mind toward one another, according to Messiah Yahusha, that with one mind and one mouth, you might praise the Elohim and Father of our Master Yahusha Messiah, so accept one another, as Messiah also did accept us, to the esteem of Elohim. And I say that Yahushua Messiah has become a servant of the circumcised for the truth of Elohim, to confirm the promises made to the fathers, and for the nations to praise Elohim for his compassion, as it has been written. Because of this, I shall confess to you among the nations, and I shall sing to your name. And again it says, Rejoice, O nations, with his people. And again, praise Yah, all you nations, praise him, all you peoples. And again, Yeshayahu says, There shall be a root of Yeshai, and he who shall rise to reign over the nations on him, the nations shall set their expectation. And the Elohim of expectation fill you with all joy and peace in believing that you overflow with expectation by the power of the set-apart spirit. Now I myself am persuaded concerning you, my brothers, that you too are filled with goodness, complete in all knowledge, able to admonish one another. But I have written more boldly to you in part as reminding you because of the favor given to me by Elohim to be a servant of Yahushua Messiah to the nations with the priestly duty of bringing the good news of Elohim so that the offering of the nations becomes acceptable, set apart by the set apart spirit. Therefore, I have cause for boasting in Messiah Yahushua in the matters pertaining to Elohim. For I shall not presume to speak of any matter except what Messiah has worked out through me in word and deed to make the nations obedient, in powers of signs and wonders, in power of the spirit of Elohim, so that from Yerushalayim and roundabout to Alurakan, I have completed the preaching of the good news of Messiah. And so I was ambitious to bring the good news where Messiah had not been named, lest I should build on another man's foundation. But as it has been written, to whom it was not announced concerning him, they shall see, and those that have not heard shall understand. This is why I was often hindered from coming to you. But now, no longer having a place in these parts, and having a longing to come to you for many years, I shall come to you when I go to Spain. For I expect to see you on my journey and to be helped on my way there by you. At first, I somewhat filled with your company. But now I am going to Yerushalayim to serve the set apart ones. For it pleased those from Macedonia to Acacia to make some contribution for the poor among the set apart ones who are in Yerushalayim. For they were pleased and they are their debtors. For if the nations have shared in their spiritual matters, their duty is also to serve them in material matters. Having completed this then, and having put my seal on this fruit of theirs, I shall return through you to Spain. And I know that when I come to you, I shall come in the completeness of the blessing of the good news of Messiah. But I urge you, brothers, through our master, Yahushua Messiah, and through the love of the Spirit, to strive together with me in prayers for me unto Elohim, that I might be delivered from those in Yehuda who do not believe, and that my service for Yerushalayim be well received by the set-apart ones, that I might come to you with joy through the desire of Elohim, and be refreshed together with you, and the Elohim of peace be with you all. Amen.